True, the E85 Z4 is getting on its years, but they still look fantastic, and to keep them on the roads, we need to keep them well maintained. This is a quick video to show you how to complete a basic service on your Z4. So first we're going to take the car for a short drive to get the engine and the oil warm, so the oil flows out easily when you drain it. I'm also going to be using an engine flush before to help remove all of the old oil. You simply warm the car, take the cap off, pour the contents in, pop the cap back on, leave to idle for 20 minutes, and whilst you're doing that, you can do the cabin filter. So turn off the air circulation, and then you can remove this trim panel in the passenger footwell with these two screws. Once those two screws are out, just simply remove the panel, and you'll see the cabin filter housing behind. Then you can pull away the bottom cover, pull out the old cabin filter. This one looks like it has been replaced for a while. And then install the new one. Refit the housing cover. Trim panel goes in, screws go in, and your job's done. That should have taken you around 15-20 minutes, so now we can turn off the car and move on to our next job, the air filter. So the air filter is another really simple task to complete. The housing has a number of clips around it which are easily removed as shown. Work your way around removing all the clips. Pull the housing up and it reveals the air filter beneath. Replace it and close up the housing as before. Next we move on to the oil change itself. So before we get underneath the car, we need to take the oil cap off, then remove the oil filter housing. I'm using a 36 mm socket on it, but you can use a loop wrench or a specific oil filter housing socket. Take out the oil filter and just make sure you've got a rag to place it straight into. Next we need to jack up the car so we can get underneath. Once underneath, you'll find a small trim panel covering where the oil sump plug is. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screw. Loosen off the sump plug with the 17mm socket and then remove the drain plug by hand. It's quite a long thread and make sure you've got something underneath to catch the oil. Whilst the oil is draining, we can replace the oil filter. Pull the old one out and push the new one in until you hear a soft click. Most oil filters come with a new rubber seal for the filter housing. Just make sure you lubricate it with some fresh oil. And they will also have a new crush washer for the sump plug. We install the sump plug into the bottom of the engine by hand. This is to avoid cross threading. Then you can tighten it up to 24 newton meters. Then you can reinstall the service panel before lowering it back to the ground. Back up top, we can now reinstall the filter unit. Again, tightening down by hand at first, and then talking to 24 newton meters. Now we're ready to add some oil. I'm using Castrol Edge Fully Synthetic 530 weight and the capacity for this engine is 6.5 litres and that's an M54 2.5 6 cylinder. Now we pop the oil cap back on and run the engine for a minute or so to circulate the oil. And now we're going to check the oil level. Remove the dipstick, wipe it, put it back all the way in, pull it out again and read the measurement. It should be between the two notches on the dipstick. Now that you've completed your basic oil and filter service, you can reset the service interval reminder. Do this by pressing and holding the left button on the instrument cluster until the display comes up. Then turn the key to the first notch while still pressing the button. Let go of the button, press and hold again until the reset message starts flashing. Press it once more and it will reset the service interval leaving you to enjoy your Z4 for many miles to come. Thanks for watching.